Hey everyone, it's Tim Ria here live at the Digital Summer Summit Day 2. We have Jeff Arnold, the chairman and CEO of ShareCare. Today's topic was, be all you can be, how the Army is optimizing soldiers' health and resilience. Good to see you. Nice to see you. So we were at CES with you and Dr. Oz uh, a little over six months ago, or not too long ago. Yeah. And uh, how's the basketball game? Oh, it's good. Everything, <laughs> everything's going good. He's, uh, his fingers are all better. He's good to go. So, um, really interesting discussion today and learning a lot more about your business model. Give us a little rundown of what happened earlier. Yeah, well, you know, where our business continues to grow is um, we're kind of this neat crossover of B2C and B2B. So 70% of our revenue is actually B2B. The Department of Defense is actually our largest client. Um, but I love being in the B2C space, having sharecare.com, because I think it gives us amazing kind of street credibility when we're talking to large hospital systems or we're talking to the military that these patient engagement strategies that we believe in, that we're trying to sell you, that we use ourselves and so and have a lot of data and we know what people will do and won't do. and um, so we've evolved, you know, kind of having just sharecare.com, also building those similar type sites for people who manage large populations. So um, what's interesting is you're talking about the skyscraper and, and to be able to offer integrated suites, um, but also to be able to break those out based upon people's needs so they can try. What is that? Yeah, so um, we believe in consumer-driven healthcare to achieve patient engagement. You have to have a very comprehensive approach. And so none of these ideas on their own might be that unique. So health risk assessment, clinical decision support, online scheduling, connected devices, weight loss programs. But we believe that the winning strategy is when you can put all that together in one spot, one stack in the cloud. And then ideally, for large populations, they would buy the entire stack. But giving people the flexibility, if they just want a weight loss program, or if they just want an online scheduling solution, that we can break that out and sell it to them individually. So the big idea here is population solutions, not an individual, but it's really looking at the data sets from a population. Yeah, yeah. So I think, you know, if you look at population health management, let's just use the DOD as one example. So there's 9.7 million covered lives in the DOD. They spend $52 billion a year. That's 10% of the entire DOD budget. And so what we like to come into them and say, hey, we've got this comprehensive approach. Let's mandate that the Army soldiers take the real age test. We'll give them content to help them improve their real age test. We'll give them evidence-based programs that'll help relieve their stress, help them lose weight. It's not just for them, it's also for their uh, family members. And then we create these commander dashboards where we can look and say, well, you know, where where are the highest BMIs? Where are the most smokers? Who's the most stressed out? You're saying on the smoker side, you could uh, resolve which bases had the most smoking because they had... Yeah, so we can just look at the data and um, you know start to identify where the most smokers are, and then we build action plans or interventions um, that are gamified, leaderboards, cheer people on, connect devices to help um, people get through those programs and ultimately improve their real age, which then comes with a cost savings. This is a comprehensive approach. Uh, yes, very much so. So, um, what's next? How, it seems like you have all these different services and then you're threading them together yeah. um, for specific markets, specific customers. Yeah, there's a couple that I'm really excited about right now. So we have an app out called AskMD, which is, I kind of call it like Watson meets Uber, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah, and it's this awesome app and where you go in and you tell Siri you have abdominal pain, it gives you a smart questionnaire, says here's your diagnosis, and then you click a button, you can find a doctor that treats that. We want to use that as a way to coordinate care and triage. So based on that diagnosis, you're a minute clinic client, you need to go to the ER, you can schedule a doctor's appointment, or what's most exciting is use that for lead gen for telemedicine. Yeah. And so then, you know, how do I then put you with the right type of provider or care provider at the right time, right through your FaceTime? And so, and that's all coming very quickly. Yeah, so medical telepresence and telemedicine is becoming a reality quick. Uh, yeah, and then using decision support, I think, is the big idea to lead gen into that. And then I think this, there's a lot of buzz right now around connected devices, but, you know, how do you make that work in healthcare? care with the Internet of Things. So I want my share care app to say, Jeff, I see you're in California. I've looked at the weather. I know when your first meeting is. I've mapped you a run through your RunKeeper account. I'm going to play you music that you like to run to, and I'm going to give you a, a micropayment on your real age when you're done. That's all happening. And then the other big thing, and kind of like the whole mental health, outside of the ability to do therapy through telemedicine and help with stigma and things like that, is I think we're going to see a big wave in brain fitness. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we had a speaker last year talking about the brain. I remember the brain book. They sent me one. Yeah. Uh, it's the brain seems like the ocean. We know more about the the moon than we know about our own ocean. Yeah, totally. And when you start to start to think about memory and. Uh, 
uh, anti-aging and all the things that surround the brain. Next time you walk up to a magazine rack, just take a step back and look at the magazine rack. There's not a magazine cover that is not talking about the brain in some form or fashion. So it's, uh, you know, no pun intended, but it's very top of mind. <laughs> so so um, anything else? Anything else you, you wanted to get on stage that you didn't get out? I, I mean... It's interesting to watch Jeff on stage because you're just knocking down so many different layers of details that are pretty impressive. So, yeah, no, I, I just think that we should all be very excited about the time that we're living in as it relates to health and wellness. I mean, I was kind of early in kind of digital health with WebMD, and I, I just it's so great to see patient engagement strategies making its way into the C-suites of large healthcare organizations because they're starting to really embrace consumer-driven healthcare. Okay, well, hey, that's Jeff Arnold, CEO of ShareCare, and. Uh, Top class basketball player, I dare you to take him on. So, cheers. Good to see you again. Right, good to see you. Take care. Thank you. All right, cool.